Hi hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Rockspace. This is the wireless CG6 indoor slash outdoor security camera. You can check it out on Amazon at the time of this review for $49.99. They're also offering a 10% off coupon on the listing at the moment. It brings it down to about $45. So for $45, you're going to be competing with uh, products like Ring and other outdoor slash indoor cameras that you can mount on your front door, your back porch, uh, inside your home, whatever you would like. We're going to dig into this really quickly, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's take a look at everything that comes in the box. Of course, you're going to get the main unit. This does have a battery inside it. It is a 5200 milliamp battery. It is not user replaceable, so be aware of that. Uh, it will last up to 180 days between charges, uh, so you'll get a, a pretty decent uh, battery length out of the internal battery. You do get a setup guide here. It is written in English. Hold on to that for quick reference. You do get a reset pin in case you need to reset the Wi-Fi configuration that is uploaded during setup to the camera. You do get some uh, mounting hardware here so that you can mount this in uh, various positions, either on your ceiling, your wall, wherever you would like to. And of course, you can not opt to not use it if you want to use this as an indoor camera and it can stand up just like it is right now. Uh, you do get some uh, screws for your wall or ceiling uh, so they complete that out with those. Now, you can recharge the battery. Of course, it is an internal battery. Uh, it doesn't look to be user replaceable. It's a, a USB to micro USB cable. Uh, you can use any laptop or PC's USB or your phone's wall charger to charge that up. Now you can see that, that that's where your mounting uh, hardware will screw in. You do have a speaker on the back here. Uh, you do have another uh, mounting, uh, depending on whether you want to mount this uh, you know, from the back or from the bottom. You do have a power button on the inside, your charge port there, and you also have an SD card slot. It will support up to 128 gigabytes if you don't want to buy a subscription to their cloud service. Of course, you can have it uh, set that up as well. Now they do uh, seven days worth of cloud, uh, rolling cloud storage uh, on a free trial. So you can uh, check that out as well if you want to uh, check out their service. So overall, that is what you're going to get in the box. This is 1080p. It does have night vision on it. Uh, it does have motion detection. Uh, you do have uh, some LEDs there on the front that will let you know when it's capturing anything. You can turn those off, of course, if you want to. Uh, it, it does have two-way audio and a lot of other features. So let's show you how to set this guy up real quick. Setting up the unit is pretty simple. You're just going to have to get the Rock Home app and you can scan the QR code on the box or just search the Google Play Store or uh, the App Store for Apple. And you will get this uh, set up here where you can just add in a camera. Uh, once you launch it, it'll tell you to add a camera, either battery powered or plugged in. Uh, and you will uh, want to make sure that you see a blue light blinking on the outside and hear a beep. Uh, as well from the camera, which I don't have on video, but it is beeping uh, as well as the thing is blinking there as well. Uh, so oh, it's going to ask you for device location. You probably want to give it that. Uh, I don't. I didn't test it when you don't give it that. It will use uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, not 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Now your phone or whatever your tablet, whatever you're connecting with can be on 5 gigahertz. Uh, but what you're going to have to do is make sure that you scroll down to your 2.4 gigahertz network and then supply your uh, Wi-Fi password, which I will do off screen really quickly. And what this is going to do is this is going to gather your Wi-Fi information for your 2.4 gigahertz network. And uh, once we uh, go through the rest of the setup here, pretty simple. It's going to show a QR code on the phone itself. And then you use the camera to actually scan this QR code. And this uploads that information to the camera and is saved then to the camera on your network. So your network information uh, will get saved here in just a second. I just have to make sure that I'm six to 12 inches away. You'll see the QR code change a little bit once it registers, there it goes. 
and then it will register the camera. So you'll see now that what will happen uh, once I set this back down is that it's connecting to the camera, uploading that information, registering it on the cloud, and your setup is basically finished. Okay, I've got the, the a camera set up in a hallway to my left, and I have the lights off in the hallway, so it is using a night mode here. And you can see that it is pretty clear. Now, if we go in here uh, to our alerts, you can see that we do have alerts that are saved locally. Of course, if you do want to buy cloud storage, uh, they have a subscription for that. Uh, you can keep your files locally, of course, uh, but if you want cloud storage, they offer a couple different things for that or tiers uh, for that as well if you do want cloud storage instead of your local device storage. Alternatively, you do have the option to put in a 128 gigabyte uh, SD card in the camera itself uh, to offset that as well if you don't want to save it to your device. Uh, now, we can look at a couple other things in the camera settings. You do have uh, notification settings, of course. Uh, you do have your activity zone uh, for your motion detection. Uh, so you have all of those things there. Uh, you're using night mode or not using night mode, turning the LEDs on or off. Uh, your sensitivity for your motion detection can be used here as well. Uh, you do have uh, your audio settings and you do have this alarm uh, that the siren, uh, if you do want to turn this on, it does get pretty loud. And I'm not going to sh let you hear that in the video because it's really almost to the point of obnoxiously loud. But that's fine because when uh, if something like that were to happen, uh, you were to get some sort of uh, alert and you have this outside and you want the siren to sound, this is going to scare uh, intruders away. So it is a good thing. It is a very loud si siren and it does work. Uh, so those are most of the things that you're going to see here in the software setup. So let's take a look at the quality of the camera itself. And as you can see, the uh, quality is very good. I don't have any problems with it whatsoever. Uh, you do have a few options in landscape that you can do. Uh, number one is if you want to turn that alarm on, you can turn it on any time. Even if it's not detecting motion, you can turn it on. I won't blast your guys' ears out, but it is insanely loud. Uh, the other things that you can do uh, just quickly from this screen uh, is uh, you can uh, adjust the uh, settings. You can go right back to settings from this screen if you want to, or you can also adjust whether your quality of video is in SD or HD or auto, depending on your network configuration. I'm going to put it in HD. You can see it's nice and crisp and clear here. No problems whatsoever with the video on this. I really do uh, like the quality. If I want to take a, a picture really quickly, I can hit the bottom left-hand corner of the camera icon. And then uh, next to that is your video icon. So I can uh, capture video uh, whenever I want to. Uh, again, not just when it detects motion, but it obviously will uh, uh, snap at least 10 seconds, which is the default whenever it detects motion. Now you can change those settings in the camera settings. Also in the middle, I have my two-way talk button here. And as I hold it down, you can see this waveform going across, letting me know that I am sending my voice to the camera so I can hear things from the camera and I can also speak. Uh, say you have it at your front door and you need to speak to somebody. Now going in here, you can see I can zoom in pretty far, even to that vent at the top of the door, just has really good detail. Uh, so overall, this 1080p uh, sensor that they have in this camera does a really, really excellent job uh, for picture quality. So overall, Rockspace did a great job on this. The app is solid. I didn't have any crashes or problems. And overall, I'm pretty impressed. Okay, so that's my review of the Rock CG6 outdoor slash indoor wireless security camera. You can get it on Amazon at the time of this review for $49.99. Now at $49.99, this is an excellent deal. It produces a really good picture at 1080p, nice crisp images. 
I don't have any problems with the performance of the camera whatsoever. The app that they include also, which is that Rock Home app, works very, very well, allows you to, uh, you know, uh, capture images, has a nice built-in siren, it has motion detection, it's IP rated, so you can use it outdoors, you're not going to have to worry about snow or uh, a rain or anything like that. So as an outdoor camera, this is going to be excellent, but it can also be used as an indoor camera as well as I showed you. Uh, overall, there's really not much to complain about with this camera, especially at the $49 price point. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions or comments about this camera, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like, and if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so because that always helps me out, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.